In this video, I'll teach you how to import data into a different workbook using VBA. In my previous video, I demonstrated how to import data into a different tab within the same workbook using VBA. In this video, I'm going to use the exact same data set and import it into a different workbook altogether. Before I show you how to do that, if you're new to my channel and you like my content, make sure you subscribe and also hit notifications so you won't miss out on my future videos. Okay, so here's how we do it. So I want to import this data set over here into a different workbook altogether. And here are the steps. The first step is to go to developer on the ribbon. Now, if you don't already have developer included in the ribbon, here's how to add it. You go to file, options, then you go to customize ribbon, and you have to check this box over here, which says developer. And as soon as you do that and you hit on OK, like this, the developer tab will appear. Now, once you have developer, you go to Visual Basic, and then you go to insert, and you click on module. And doing that will add module one over here. Now, I've already added module one, so I'm not going to do it again. And the next step is to copy and paste this code over here, which is also available in the description box within this area over here. And I'll explain how this code is different from last week's code in a few moments. So last week I demonstrated how to import data from one tab to another within the same workbook. Now we're importing data from one workbook into a completely different workbook altogether. And what you need to know about this code over here is, first of all, you don't have to understand how it works altogether, but you possibly have to make some modifications to this line over here, which I have highlighted. So this line contains the directory in which the data will be imported into. And this section over here, which I have highlighted, is the exact directory. So I'm importing my data into my C drive, into a folder called temp, which contains a subfolder called sales. And I'll show you that right now. So here's where I'm importing my data, into my C drive, temp folder, and another folder called sales, which I've created. Now you don't necessarily have to import your data into the same folder, but whatever fo directory or folders you're importing into, you have to specify right here. And as you can see right here, there's currently no spreadsheet within this folder. But once I execute this macro, there will be. The import file will appear right over here. And I'll show you that in a few moments. So make sure that you specify the directory right here. So in this case, I've used the directory C. I have a folder called temp and another folder called sales. You can use whatever directory you want, but you have to make sure that these folders and possible subfolders exist within that directory. And you copy and paste it over here. And at the tail end, is the name of the export file. So I want my export file to be called sales. And now you can name it whatever you want, but uh, it has to have a name, otherwise this will fail. So it's very important that you get this part right. So first you have to have the directory and you have to have the import file's name. And finally, in the last uh, two lines over here, we have a message box. So once this VBA code is executed successfully, a message box will pop up stating that data imported successfully. Now you can customize this message if you want, but this is the message I've chosen, but you can put whatever message you like. So the next step is to save this and X out of this. And now I will execute the code. So I'll go to macro, I'll select the macro we created and I'll click on run. And after a few moments, this message box appears, which contains the same message which I explained to you a few moments ago, data imported successfully. This shows that the VBA has been executed successfully. And now I'll click on OK. Now let's validate that this data has indeed been imported into a new spreadsheet within that directory. So I'll pull it up right now. And as you can see, the same folder that didn't contain any files within it a few moments ago now contains an Excel file called sales. And if I open that file, you can see that it contains all the data from my original file, which has been imported there successfully. And this could work in a very dynamic way. So in other words, I can run this macro many times. Every time I make a change here, I can run it 
and the changes will be reflected within the file that I just showed you. So let me give you a demonstration. Let me add another column here and I'll call it profits. And I'll add some, just some dummy data in here. This is my dummy data that I've just added here just for demonstration purposes. Now I want to show you the next time I run the VBA code over here, this new addition over here will appear in the import file within that directory. So let me give this a try. I'll go to macro, I'll run it again. The message pop-up appears again, which shows that the code was executed successfully. Now I'll go into my import file, which is the sales file, and I'll open it up. And as you can see, the new data addition has been added here. And this way, I can always import data from one spreadsheet to another. And if there are changes to the data, those changes could be reflected as well. And this is how you can import data into a different workbook using VBA. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If so, make sure you hit like so that YouTube would push this video out to more and more people. Also, make sure you share your thoughts in the comment section. And finally, if you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my future videos. That's all for today. Bye now.